A year of grief and recovery for the city of Boston. Today marks one year since bombs killed three and injured hundreds more at the finish line of the Boston Marathon. And despite the pain, the focus in Boston tonight is on remembering the victims and the resolve to run again. Something just blew up. Two explosions at the Boston Marathon finish line. As panic and chaos settled in Copley Square one year ago, reality and tragedy took over. More than 260 people were injured. Three people were killed, including the youngest victim, eight-year-old Martin Richard, Lu Ling Zi, a Boston University student from China, and 29-year-old Crystal Campbell. Every day I come through the room, I see her. The front room of Lillian Campbell's home is filled with photos of her cheerful granddaughter. She had that special, I don't know what it is, that special thing about her. You know, and you felt happy around her because she was always laughing and bubbling. I, I loved her. And you see by the dawn's early light. Today, the streets of Boston are a much different scene from one year ago. Despite the rain, survivors walked the marathon course. We carry on and we finish the race. Afterwards, they took to the podium to share words of hope, story after story of courage. From first responders and from ordinary people who chose not to run away from the blasts. We chose to run towards smoke and danger. We chose to utilize our belts and purse straps to create tourniquets. We chose to hold the injured in our arms. The families of the victims sat in the audience, though their hearts are still heavy. The message of today, of a community that's Boston strong, rings much louder. But we will never yield. We will never cower. America will never, ever, ever stand down. We are Boston. We are America. We respond. We endure. We overcome. And we own the finish line. On the land of the free and the This year's marathon will be held on Monday, which is also Patriots Day. Event organizers expect a record turnout.